Um, hello everybody, my name is Stephanie Lawley and I'm Louise Bailey and we run Central Cheshire Buddy Scheme which is a local charity that supports children and young people with disabilities. We've, we, we've submitted a bid for £6,453 to run a project for sibling young carers called Sibling Buddies. Um, the aim of the project will be um, to run activities and clubs and residentials for sibling young carers. Um, Central Treasure Buddy Scheme was um, started in 2004 by Louise and myself. Uh, we started with 10 disabled young people. We now work with 136 each month and we run eight activity clubs. And as a result of the clubs, that we run and the young people that we work with, we've identified a number of sibling young carers um, who look after um, brothers and sisters and who, when we um, take their brothers and sisters out on trips, have said to us, can I come, can I go out um, and I want to do the same things that they're doing. So we want to run a project specifically for um, sibling carers. Um, they've we already work with a few, but we've identified um, quite a number of other um, young carers as well that could be part of the group. Uh, and we're already talking to professionals and other local organisations who've identified young people who could be part of the group. But they've come up with a wish list. They want to go to Waterwell, they want to go trampolining, they want to go swimming, they want to go to the beach in the summer, they want to do adventure activities. So already um, we've got a wish list from um, some young people. What we'll do as we go along, if we get the funding is, we'll uh, develop that and adapt it and keep asking people what they want to do and where they want to go because new places open up or because it's just an inflate of nations opened up in Stoke and they want to go there, which is big bouncy castles. So. Um, there's lots of things happening and we're all training forest schools so we want to do a lot of forest schools out and about stuff as well. Our philosophy really is about being out and about and doing activities um, and having fun and being with friends and as part of the project what we want to do is support young carers to form a support network, to have a group where they can talk to each other, they can share what's going on, um, they can um, improve physical health and mental health and, and also reduce social isolation. So even young people are socially isolated because they feel it's just them and they're just on their own. But actually when they're sat on a bus or sat in a forest with others that understand, then they can start talking to each other. So this project will have a huge impact on the young carers. Um, it will give them a break. Um, it will give them a support network, but also hopefully it will give them other things as well. Uh, and we know that the difference that um, the sibling group makes for those children, the young carers, we know that because we've been supporting the siblings for a few years now um, and we've seen the journey of those children and where, you know, how much it has changed their lives being part of a group. Um, it's an opportunity to meet and make new friends, to socialise, to have fun, to um, have new experiences and opportunities, to explore different places. Um, and it's good for their social skills, their mental health, their physical ability. Um, and we have a, a one young man that's actually been part of the sibling group who we've he came canoeing um, last year, he really enjoyed it, and now he's moved on and he's now a young leader with the acorns of the oak hanger. So we can see how much he's developed in time, his, you know, his confidence, his self-esteem. And it's a great opportunity for them to get together, to, to talk. It's a bit of a counselling session in a sense, because they're able to talk to each other who actually understand each other, who know what the situation is at home. Um, but Brushing that aside, it's about them having some fun, being, being a child again, having uh, me time, um, and really enjoying themselves. And actually, I've got some comments here that the children have made themselves. It's their words, and they're, they're happy for me to share those comments. 
Um, so, in their words, I love my brother and he loves me, but sometimes I just can't do the things I'd really like to do. My little brother is so special, I will do anything for him, but sometimes I just want some time for myself. I get very embarrassed when my brother has a meltdown. He can't help it, but people don't understand him. There is never a single moment that I don't worry about him. Mum and Dad say that our family is special. I think they're right. We can have really good days out as a family, and then some days it's really hard. We can never plan anything. And as for parents, actually, they, have, they can feel quite guilty because having a child with a disability is, uh, and with complex needs it sometimes takes a lot of their time and it's no, nobody's fault but the, the children, the siblings sometimes get a little bit left behind and they haven't got that time to spend with them but actually allowing them to come on the sibling route gives them a, a, a less, they feel less guilty. So we have some other comments as well which we'd like to share. Um, and, and that's about the things that they've achieved whilst they've been with, with the siblings. Um, I have have some new friends now who understand what it is like to have a brother that is different. I've never been to the beach before, or paddled in the sea, or built sandcastles, or played rounders, but now I can. If we go anywhere, we normally have to come home earlier than everyone else. I usually just go to my bedroom and find something else to do. When I go out with the Cheshire Buddies, we always have a fun time. So those are just a few little examples and that the children have, have commented and, and they wanted to from share. From the breaks that we can offer range from three hours to three days. So mm. actually it's, it is a good carer's break. Um, most of our trips, um, when we go to the beach, is six or seven hours. So they do get time to switch off and you can see the difference in a child when they get on the bus and then when they get off the bus later, when they've run around the beach for three hours or more, made us run around the beach as well. Mm -hmm. There was one time we went to Crosby Beach or Pistatin <coughs> or something and Louise and I just um, stood back a little bit and the children were playing, the siblings were playing and um, there was just screams and whoops and, and they were um, walking in the paddling in the sea and screaming and splashing each other and actually that then summed it all up for us. So we want to continue that and we want to take uh, you know, a fresh group of young people um, out and about and do that with them and have those experiences. So that's why we'd like people to vote for us and why we'd like to get the money so that we can support these um, young carers.